Built on the grounds of a former man-made lake and park, Lake Forest Mall would open in 1978 with four anchors and almost 50 stores, making it the then largest indoor shopping mall in the entire country. It's official. The doors here at the Lake Forest Mall in Gaylorsburg will be closing at the end of March. And now its owner says the slow death is almost over, closing for good on March 31st. We've seen the mall in decline for at least 15 years. Gaithersburg's mayor says the location still has the potential to be lucrative. And the city is now considering the developer's request to rezone the land, tear down the mall, and replace it with not only more modern shopping, but homes, parks, and businesses too. This spring, the plans are expected to be approved. Reporting in Gaithersburg, I'm Cheyenne Karen for DC News Now. We arrived to Lake Forest at the end of February 2023, just one month before it is set to close. By this time, most of the stores have left. It's maybe. Macy's is having its going out of business sale. Being a Friday night, there were a number of people walking around to take one last look at the property that held precious memories for them. Now located in the former J.C. Penney's wing, the original kids' play place was in the center of the mall. During its grand opening, children received free balloons and kazoos. There was also an Olympic-sized ice skating rink that was one of the first in any indoor shopping mall in the country. Just six years after opening, it would be closed and turned into the NTI Movie Theater, which held a free showing of the Big Chill to celebrate its grand opening. By the 90s, it would switch to the Cineplex Odeon Lake Forest 5, but by the millennium, it could no longer compete with the huge multiplexes and closed. In each of the four wings stands a large art sculpture specifically commissioned for the mall during its opening. The wide open center used to look much different. Back in the day, it was the focal point for the mall, with many events and concerts held here. During Christmas, they would put up an elaborate village of decorations, and when the mall opened, it was half-jokingly stated that Lake Forest may be the first mall to have a green room inside of it. In 1998, Lake Forest would be one of the 10 malls sold to General Motors Pension Trust in exchange for that company's stake in Taubman, which was valued at almost $1.5 billion. By this time, it was already noticing a decline in shoppers, and in place of the former movie theater, the food court was added at a cost of $5 million. Thank you. 
almost exactly a year before we are filming, the food court was a scene of a violent murder. Right now, police are looking for the man who they say stabbed a mall employee to death in Montgomery County. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Charlotte McBride. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. We're going to get to the fight, or the right rather, the hunt for that killer in this situation. It all happened at around 11 o'clock this morning near the food court inside of Lake Forest Mall in Gaithersburg. Lake Forest Mall just opened at 11 a.m. when police say an employee reporting to work was stabbed multiple times. The suspect took off. We believe that this was not a random incident. Montgomery County Police won't say if fellow mall employees, shoppers, or a security guard made the 911 call, but we're told investigators are questioning possible witnesses. The victim was rushed to the hospital where police say he later died. That would be the second murder in four months occurring on the mall property. Tell us a man is dead after a shooting outside of Lake Forest Mall in Gaithersburg. This all happened shortly after 5.30 p.m. When Montgomery and Gaithersburg police officers got to the scene, they said they found a 29 year old man with gunshot wounds to his upper body outside the food court entrance. Right now, police do not have a description of a suspect to provide to the public. They say they're not even sure of the suspect's relation to the victim, but they add their hopeful security camera footage will give them a needed clue. Even before that, the mall had a reputation for being a dangerous place. In 2008, a 20-year-old stabbed a man to death inside. In 2013, a carjacking occurred on a Sunday afternoon. In 2014, a mother was charged with abandonment and reckless endangerment after she left her child and a puppy inside the car on a 90-degree day. Two months prior, a man was found floating in one of the exterior retention ponds dead of natural causes. In 2015, as a result of an argument taking place at the mall, a transgender woman was later shot in an alleyway outside. That holiday season, a woman was stabbed multiple times during a robbery in the parking lot outside Macy's. In 2016, a 16-year-old gang member in the notorious MS-13 gang ordered a hit on two shoppers because he mistook them for rival gang members. In 2020, an armed man robbed the Auntie Anne's in the food court. Despite all the crime, the mall still held a high tenant rate, and anchors would quickly fill when one moved out. In 2007, the Simon Property Group purchased a 25% stake in the mall, and together a GM continued to operate it until 2011, when the owners defaulted on their loan. Oh, Jesus. The following year, it was purchased for $100 million, and the new owners, Five Mile Capital Partners, spent a further $20 million in renovations, which included a major overhaul to the center, flattening it and removing the small fountain. But the mall was still in trouble, with its 2016 net income just over $6 million as opposed to the nearly $15 million in 2012. In 2017, the owners went into foreclosure again, and Lake Forest would be purchased for just $19 million. In 
In 2019, original anchors J.C. Penney's and Sears announced their closure, along with Lord & Taylor, which had replaced the original Woodward & Lothrop anchor in 1996. That left just one anchor, Macy's, which had replaced the other original anchor of Hex in 2006 when the entire company was bought out by the Macy's brand. That same year, WRS Inc., a real estate investor, purchased the mall, and on January 17th, 2023, less than two weeks after Macy's announced its closure, they brought forth a plan for demolition and redevelopment of the property. As of yet, the plans have not been approved for the new mixed-use residential and commercial site, which calls for Lake Forest demolition in 2024. If they're not approved, it has been hinted that the 1 million square foot mall may be repurposed rather than torn down. After being a mainstay in the area for 45 years, will Gaithersburg's Lake Forest Mall continue on as something else? Or will it be another fading memory like the Lake Walker Park it replaced? In the meantime, while the merchandise must go, the memories for many are still fully stocked. Santa Claus, the elevators, the ice skating rink, the movie theaters, all that stuff. I'm gonna miss it. I felt sad because I have good memories for this place. That's sad because there's nothing inside. Everything is almost closed. Gatesburg High used to have open lunch, so we all used to flock over here at 11.30 and eat at the food court. I used to come here as a kid with my parents all the time. It was happening. I mean, there were families and all kinds of folks uh, spending time here on the weekends, and it was just a great spot to be. 